You know, I seem to recall that there was once a time in a really long ago video, I actually said that I was gonna post new book reviews on every Thursday, I think. And I kind of forgot about that for a whole year. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum YouTube, long time no see, actually I was just posting back then, oh whatever. Assalamu alaikum YouTube, what's going on, 2019 is here, happy new year to everybody, it's the first Thursday of 2019 and I just thought what a perfect opportunity it is to put out a book review. Now regarding what I just said in the start of the video, in a previous video last year I said that I would be posting new content, new book in, uh, reviews every Thursday and that was a stupid thing to say on my part because Going through a book in, in its entirety in a week is just not in me, okay? I like to dwell on the books and I'm not a fast reader. I may be a good reader, but I'm not a fast reader and I just can't go through a book in a week, no matter how hard I try. Now, the current book that I have been reading for a couple of days now is actually this, Conan and the Sorcerer. Uh, I found it secondhand. It's quite beat up right now. I think the cover has been like messed around with some like who whatever like who goes and messes around with the cover man like seriously anyway this book is by conan uh, conan and the sorcerer and it's by andrew j oft and as you can see it is a hefty book but it is actually not because the text font used in it is like really big and even though this book looks really really big it's only 186 pages in its entirety so yeah that's what i'm trying to say it's only like even shy of 200 pages and I have been reading it for a couple of days and I'm still not even halfway through. So I just like to dwell on the books and like take in the story entirety. Now as far as this book is concerned, I highly recommend it if you can find it. It is really interesting. I, sub I think it is part of a like trilogy of novels set in the same story. So yeah, it's pretty amazing and the crowning jewel is that it has a lot of artwork. This is my favorite artwork, artwork in the entire book if my camera can focus thank you and as you can see conan is here on the brink of a life and death situation and this guy is just doing his laundry and this guy is here like business as usual so yeah highly recommended but i just wanted to tell you out there that i don't go through books really fast i thought i could but i can't and so yeah that's it but this video isn't about conan this video is about something related to my favorite author of all time and that is J.R.R. Tolkien. Now back in 2001 when Lord of the Rings first came out, I was just enamored with this whole world that J.R.R. Tolkien has uh, created. And 17 years later, reading and almost all of the books and all of the media, playing games and stuff like that, everything that has to do with Middle Earth, Arda and the whole universe of uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, I have to say J.R.R. Tolkien is my favorite author of all time and he really inspired me to start writing and got me into this whole sword and sorcery genre. So yeah, today I am going to be showing you a book which I really think should be read by everybody or at least its counterpart should be read by everybody. It's a book about appreciation of the works of J.R.R. Tolkien. Now this book has artwork, it has quotes, it has like character tidbits, even recipes for some foods. So it's pretty awesome and it is presented with in a really good small package. And when I say small, I do mean small because the book we are looking at today is called A Tolkien Treasury. And it's so small it can actually fit in the palm of my hands. How cool is that? So the book, as you can see, it's pretty small obviously and it just has a, like a bunch of pages and every page is like very beautifully uh, like written over the font style is like pretty good and the book is littered with artwork now before we get into it let's just take a look outside this artwork is done by a guy named tim kirk it is probably frodo sam and pipping on their journey from bag end to crick hollow and this is part of their journey maybe this is a uh, farmer maggot's house or something like that because it is mentioned it's made of like brick so yeah maybe that is or that maybe that's ted sandy man's no it can't be the mill because they go out at night. So yeah, on the back cover there is another picture of Bilbo and Gollum going at it in the riddles and Bil Gollum is just like, man, what you, what you talking about? He's kind of like that. So this is a dust jacket and 
just let's just take that off for a second and inside you have this hard cover it's pretty like amazing and you can see it's written at token treasury by the running press i have to say that is a pretty punny name if... what's with my camera today man so yeah anyway the book like i said is presented pretty like uh gloriously it's a uh, it's just a little trinket a really beautiful trinket to have in your collection like i said it has a lot of quotes by other authors who think of what they think about Lord of the Rings or the works of Tolkien and then you have some of the even some recipes in there you have a recipe for smogs gems and a couple of others and basically that's it some quotations from the book some quotes from the characters or some brief descriptions or or you can just call it some poetic descriptions of some of the characters like tall straight leather uh, leather hard blood of past and future kings with a broken sword so that's pretty amazing, if you know what I mean. And one of the crowning achievements, just like in Conan, is the artwork that is found in this book. Like, this is a pretty small book, and the artwork is like, it's pretty interesting and lovely to see. This is the same picture that was found on the dust cover. And yeah, uh, now the fav my favorite picture in this entire book is uh, somewhere... Oh, before we get into that, I just want to tell you that there is another book that is called The Tolkien Treasury. It is a pretty big book uh, comparatively, like a full size book. And this is the cover of that book. And obviously it is kind of the same principle that this book is, like it has quotations, some original work related to Middle Earth and stuff like that. But obviously it is a like full fledged proper book and it has a lot more content in it. Uh, this is a pretty pretty good picture. Actually Sam and Frodo come into this location in the extended version of Lord of the Rings The Return of the King. So this is my favorite piece of artwork in this entire book. As you can see the passing of Elven Kind written by Ted Johnston. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. And as you can see it's a poem that he has written. It's his original work related to uh, Middle Earth and its history. And I really love this artwork. The only thing that just doesn't appeal to me is this hobbit here. I would have really preferred if there was this like Legolas or an elf character standing here on the mast like, like heroically over here. Because this is supposed to be an elven city. But overall a really beautiful picture and I really love it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is like a really small token kind of book. And it actually says in this like description of the book that it is a perfect type of thing for a gift and I actually got this book as a gift from my sister uh, a year ago or so. If you have one of those people, your family or friends who are like big Tolkien fans, this is a gift that they would really appreciate but for like people who want to get into it, obviously this is a no brainer. I won't recommend it in any sense because this is basically nothing. If you want more reading material is what I'm trying to say, just go with that other version of this book, that really big version which, which you can see right here. So that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please consider leaving a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, there's a thumbs down button for you. And if you like supporting the channel, please do consider subscribing as I am trying to reach 1000 subs. And you can help me on that journey. I will be putting out new book reviews in this year and I will be focusing more on my YouTube channel and diversifying its content. And the first book review that you can expect obviously is Conan the Barbarian. And I will be coming out with that for in a couple of days. Now, obviously no review every Thursday, but whenever a book review comes out, it will be on a Thursday. With that said, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I am Oni. Stay safe, stay cool. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.